The Armada is a new Russian main battle tank. It is also referred as the T-14. Its development commenced in 2011. The Armada was developed as a replacement to the cancelled T-95 and possibly uses some of its technology. The whole project was kept in high secrecy. In 2012 the project was approved by the Russian MOD. First mock-up was revealed to Russian military officials in 2013. The new MBT was first publicly revealed in 2015. A first batch of 12 pre-production tanks was delivered to the Russian army in 2015. However soon after the 2015 Victory Day parade these pre-production tanks returned to the manufacturer for further testing and improvements. There were some signs that Russia was preparing to launch a full-scale production of these tanks. For example new production line for the Armada tank guns was launched. In 2018 Russian MOD ordered a first batch of 100 of these new tanks. First production tanks were planned to be delivered during the same year. However delivery date was postponed a number of times due to funding problems and technical issues. In 2019 there were reports that there are unresolved technical issues with all major components of the Armada. These problems were partially caused by sanctions imposed on Russia due to the military actions in Ukraine. It was announced that deliveries of the first batch of pre-production tanks will begin in 2019 or 2020. It was planned that in 2021 a batch of 20 pre-production tanks will be delivered to the Russian army. Since 2021 the T-14 Armada tank is being advertised for export customers. By 2022 this tank was not yet in service with the Russian army or in full rate production. Future of this tank is unclear due to numerous design problems. In 2022 some sources reported that development of this tank was stopped due to technical problems, funding problems and problems with supply of key components. It was planned that Armada will gradually replace the aging T-72, T-80 and T-90 tanks that become increasingly outdated. The Armada is a new generation tank. It is a clean sheet design with a number of advanced features. It has little in common with the current T-90 and other older Soviet tanks. Actually it is the first Russian truly new production tank since the T-72 that was adopted back in 1973. Design of the Armada focuses on heavier armor and crew survivability. Exact technical specifications of the new Armada MBT remain classified. The new tank is much bigger than the T-90. It is nearly as big as the German Leopard 2A7. This tank has a completely unmanned turret. Even though the concept of unmanned tank turret is not new, the Armada is the world's first production tank with unmanned turret. This main battle tank is operated by a crew of three men, including commander, gunner, and driver. It is in line with Russian tank building concept that the tank should be operated by a smaller crew in order to reduce its dimensions and weight and improve protection. Armada lacks gunner, as the gun is loaded by an autoloader. It is worth noting that most Western MBTs have a crew of four. The Armada might be one of the most protected MBTs in the world. It has newly developed base armor, made of steel, ceramics, and composite materials. Also Armada has a new Malekit add-on explosive reactive armor that is claimed to be of new generation. As usual this MBT is fitted with NBC protection and automatic fire suppression systems. It has been reported that Armada will be fitted with new Afghanit active protection system. However in 2018 it appeared that there are setbacks with development of the Afghanit. By 2018 prototypes of this system were not completed and were not ready for testing. The tank has a new countermeasure system that reduces the chance of being hit by enemy ATGW with semi-automatic guidance. This new Russian tank uses smoke grenade dischargers of new type. The tank uses electrical armament stabilization and turret traverse systems. These are more reliable and safer for the crew than older hydraulic systems. Furthermore these provide a quick turn of the gun in proper direction. All crew members are seated in a well-protected, armored cell. It is separated from automatic loader and ammunition. The tank has improved resistance to damage. It can operate even with penetrated armor, as far as the crew cell is intact. It is the first production MBT with such crew layout. The tank is armed with a 2A82, 
or 2A82-1M, 125mm smoothbore gun. This new gun has longer range and is more accurate than the old 2A46M gun of the T90 MBT. The gun is completed with an autoloader. It was planned that the tank will be capable of firing programmable ammunition. The Armada is capable of firing gun-launched anti-tank guided missiles in the same manner as ordinary projectiles. These missiles have a range of about 5 kilometers and can also target low-flying helicopters. A total of 40 rounds are carried for this tank, and 32 of these rounds are ready to use. There is a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. Also there is a remotely controlled weapon station, armed with another 7.62mm machine gun. This weapon has a remote reload capability. This weapon station also functions in commander's independent sight that gives the tank a hunter-killer capability. The Armada MBT is fitted with new fire control system. It is also equipped with a battlefield management system. Commanders and gunners' workstations are identical. Initially it has been reported that this new main battle tank is powered by an A82-2 turbocharged diesel engine, developing one 200 horsepower. It is a new generation engine that is much more compact than the previous Russian tank engines. However in 2019 information emerged that the tank packs a more powerful A85-3 engine, developing one 500 horsepower. Interestingly this rating is for a peak power which would be used only during wartime and at a cost of extremely short service life. Normally this engine develops one 350 horsepower. The X-shaped engine is located at the rear. It is completed in one block with an automatic transmission. Though in 2020 reports emerged that the transmission of this new Russian tank is actually manual. The whole power pack was designed to be easily removed and replaced in field condition. Western tanks had this feature since the Cold War era. However Armada is the first Soviet-slash-Russian tank to have engine and transmission built into one module. There is auxiliary power unit, which powers all system when the engine is turned off. Furthermore it ensures the smooth start of the engine at low temperatures. However by 2019 Chelyabinsk tractor plant, producer of the Armada's engine, was close to a state of bankruptcy. Their engine had a number of design flaws and was far from series production. The Armada tank has seven road wheels. Most modern tanks have a top speed of 70 km per hour. The Armada can reach a maximum road speed of 75 km per hour. The tank has a maximum range of 500 km on internal fuel. Once additional fuel tanks are carried at the rear the range can be extended to 600 km. This tank has a built-in self-entrenching blade and can prepare itself a defensive position within 12 to 40 minutes, depending on the ground type. From the earliest stages the Armada was designed to be a versatile platform for a whole host of armored vehicles. A number of specialized vehicles, such as self-propelled artillery system, heavy IFV, armored recovery vehicle, heavy flamethrower system, engineering vehicle, self-propelled air defense vehicle and other support machines are planned to be based on this platform. Heavy infantry fighting vehicle. It is also referred as the T-15. It was first publicly revealed in 2015. This vehicle can carry six to eight fully equipped troops. It is one of the most protected, if not the most protected IFV in the world. The Armada tank has a rear power pack arrangement. That became an issue for the designers in order to make troop compartment in the rear part of the vehicle. So the Armada infantry fighting vehicle has a swapped front end with the rear. It is driving backwards comparing with the original Armada MBT. A first batch of 12 pre-production vehicles was delivered to the Russian army in 2015. However soon after the 2015 Victory Day parade these pre-production infantry fighting vehicles returned to the manufacturer for improvements and further testing. In 2018 an improved variant of the Armada Heavy IFV with unmanned 57mm turret was publicly revealed. It packs a much heavier punch. BMP KSH is a command post vehicle. It is based on the Armada Heavy IFV, but lacks turret. It was first observed in 2021. BMO2 is a proposed specialized heavy armored personnel carrier. It is a dedicated transporter for flamethrower squads, 
armed with RPO PDMA, Schmel M, portable infantry flamethrowers. It has less space for the dismounts, but can carry 42 portable infantry flamethrowers. Armored Recovery Vehicle. It is also referred as the T-16. Prototype was completed in 2013. This vehicle retains the same configuration with the rear-mounted engine as the Armada main battle tank. 